Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, welcome back to performance testing and engineering uh, live training. So, uh, and uh, before going to, into today's uh, um, video, short video, so I would like to thank all the subscribers. Uh, we crossed 4,500 and uh, fast approaching uh, 5,000 subscribers. Uh, thanks guys, thanks everyone. And uh, uh, turn on, you know, those who did not subscribe, like uh, subscribe and turn on all notifications. Not only that, you know, refer, uh, like, share and subscribe basically to my YouTube channel and subs and turn on all notifications. That is one thing. And uh, please save my WhatsApp number like uh, so that you will get status updates on the new batches as well as this, uh, you know, short videos and demo sessions, interview questions and all this. We are uploading, creating and uploading a lot of useful content through our YouTube channel. So let me quickly show you. So we started one free training on uh, demos, uh, you know, uh, demo sessions on MongoDB performance testing. Linux concepts for required for performance engineers and more and more and wow. blaze meter performance testing right so, so save my whatsapp number so that you'll know like whenever i make a video so i will have will be uploading in in my uh, you know updating in my status message to my status message all right now so today's topic is like uh so recently one of my current batch student so you know posted a query uh, saying that you know how to increase jmeter heap size right so because these days it's hanging a lot for us so basically so this is one common issue with jmeter so yes while covering java concepts i you know i will be covering this uh, in the live training so however you know as uh, there is a query from one of the participants current batch participants so i'd like to know i thought of uh, making a video Actually, I made a detailed video before, but you know, like because of some technical issues with Zoom, it has failed uh, while converting to MP4 format and I could not upload it. I did it on 16th August, you know. Anyways, so today I am going to make a short video on this increasing JMeter heap size, right? And what is heap size and you know, what is what is the you know concept of this uh, heap memory and what is the minimum heap memory, max heap memory and all. I will be uploading that, you know, a detailed session on this by this weekend. So let me quickly address this question, how to increase JMeter heap size. Now, so I have one, uh, yeah. So I have one sample script wherein I use the JSR 223 sampler to check the JMeter heap size. You can see the title, the script title as JMeter 5.6.2. This is the version in which this is the latest version of JMeter uh, right now in August, 2023. And, uh, I used a JSR223 sampler to check the JMeter heap size, right? And this simple two lines of code is enough for that. And I will be providing this, either this JMeter script in my GitHub, or I will be sharing this code in the description part of my video guys. Okay, now let's jump into the topic. Now let me quickly replay the script once to check, you know, initially what is the default heap size by default, 1 GB of memory will be allocated for JMeter. You can see that as well. So you can see that in JMeter console as well, right? Every time you start JMeter using this batch file, you will get a JMeter console, right? So there itself, you know, like uh, the default heap size will be displayed over here. XMS is minimum heap size, which is 1 GB, and XMX is max heap size, that is also 1 GB. And what is Metaspace? What is perm gen? Why Metaspace were replaced by Metaspace has replaced the perm gen from Java 8 onwards. Why was it replaced, right? All those will be discussed in a detailed video on the same topic. And I will be uploading by this weekend days. So please stay tuned and, uh, you know, uh, if you are interested to receive that, turn on all notifications to my YouTube channel. Right. Now, let, let's quickly see how to increase this JMeter heap size. And if you don't increase, you know, when does this cause issue is whenever you are running a test plan, JMeter test plan with a, uh, let's say five scripts or 10 scripts, or when you have too many number of correlations and parameterizations, right? Mostly correlations, when you have, uh, you know, huge values that you are correlating, right? At that moment, this is one common issue that you face with the JMeter. So that is OOM issue. Let me quickly show you one screenshot to, to, ex you know, uh, to explain how does it look like. So this is one common issue with JMeter OVM issue. OVM where OVM stands for out of memory, right? And uh, you see this error message in the JMeter log file. 
in the log waiver panel case. If you click on this triangle icon, so you can observe here, you know, the log waiver panel, there are three errors over here in this screenshot, isn't it? Now, I'm sorry. So in this log waiver panel, it is clearly showing here that there are three errors. And if you click on the triangle symbol, you see some, you know, many a times you, you see this issue with JMeter or else, you know, whenever you are having a long script or a test plan with many number of test mm -hmm. scripts, this is one common issue with JMeter, java.lang. out of memory error, java heap space, right? Now, let's see how to fix this uh, issue. Let's uh, let's see how to fix this OVM issue with JMeter and let's see how to fix this, you know, uh, JMeter hanging uh, issue. Clear, guys? Now, so let me, so if you go to go to the corresponding JMeter bin folder, <clears throat> whatever JMeter instance you are using, go to the corresponding bin folder and open this JMeter.bat file in Notepad++ or any of your favorite editor, right? And let me go to the beginning of the file. Now search for heap, heap now. Once you open the batch file, Windows batch file, search for heap, right? Search it again till you get that setting. Yeah, here it is. If you see line number 151, there is, you know, heap, uh, JMeter heap settings are defined over here as XMS1G, XMX1G, right? So XMS, where XMS means minimum heap size, XMX is max heap size. And both are defined to be 1 GB. That means by default, 1 GB of memory will be allocated for JMeter. That is the meaning of this, right? So, the max heap size JMeter can utilize up to 1 GB maximum size. And you can check that, you know, like at any moment, if you feel that your JMeter is freezing or hanging, you can open a task manager and go to process tab. All right. So if you are opening task manager for the first time, you will see like this, you will see, you know, more details option and you'll see only running programs, right? Click on more details and you will get this, you know, uh, different tabs like this process performance app history and all this now if you observe here as you know jmeter is a java application and you know you see that the java platform se binary under that you see jmeter process running and right now jmeter is consuming 440 nb now let's say if you are you know running the script with you know uh, you are doing a you know not this script guys if you are running any script if you are running, you know, let's say, for, let me open one, you know, some other script, some other JMeter script that I have. By the way, you know, recently I did one video on this uh, JMeter scripting on real-time application called Asmara. So that is available on my YouTube channel as a public video. So please go through that, you know, like if you want to see how many, you know, uh, what are the possible correlations and in any real-time application, right? And how easy JMeter is. Clear this. Now, so let me open one of those recent scripts. Okay. So here in this script, you have some five transactions. Now let us check, you know, how much memory JMeter is currently consuming. Now you see here, you know, it is consuming up approximately 500 MB of memory, right? And now let's say you want to run this script with, let's say some, you know, 100 users or 200 users, right? 200 users, right? And, you know, obviously your uh, JMeter memory consumption will go up, isn't it? So you obviously your JMeter memory consumption will go up because you want to, you are trying to run the script with 200 users now. And you may run into this out of memory issue as shown in this screenshot java.lang. Dot out of memory error, Java heap space. Right? So that comes, you know, whenever this one GB of memory, that is a default memory allocated for JMeter got exhausted. And you will see this out of memory. You may see this out of memory issue. Now, how to increase that JMeter heap size is go to this, you know, line number 151. And you can increase the max heap size to 2 GB. Ideally, both minimum and max heap size should be same. So you can increase minimum heap size also to be 2 GB. So it's up to you. This is optional. But if you want to increase the heap size, JMeter heap size, you can simply increase this parameter called XM, iPhone XMX to 2 G. And one more thing where you know 2 G stands for 2 GB. Now 
JMeter can utilize up to 2 GB on your system, right? Up to, and you know, you need to make sure that you have enough RAM on your system, guys, by the way. Right? Now, let me, you know, once you change this XMX value, so save that change and restart, you need to restart JMeter, guys, okay? So then only, you know, like the change will be affected. Let me restart JMeter. Let me leave, relaunch JMeter. So once you launch JMeter, now let me show you, let me open the same script to check the JMeter feed size. And now let me replay the quickly replay the script. Before that, you know, let me open the log waiver panel. And let me zoom in. Right. Now let me replay the script. So this this helps us to ensure that you know the deep size is increased, guys. So I will I will be providing this code in the description part of my video, or I can share this JMeter script through my GitHub uh, GitHub account. Right now, let me quickly replay the script and show you the increase, the change in the geometric shape series. Here you go, guys. Right, and you can see over here that XMS value was increased to two GB, which was one GB previously. Now you should not face this out of memory issues or you know geometric hanging issues after increasing the heap memory to max heap size to two GB. Not only that, you know if you go to task manager, so if you open some script. Uh, let me open another script <clears throat> and check yourself, guys. You know, like run any script uh, which you which used to hang previously, or you know where you know you used to face these out of memory issues. Now check yourself, like uh, replay the script and check yourself that it should be resolving that by increasing heap size, your uh, JMeter hanging issues or out of memory issues should be resolved, and you should not uh, face them anymore. Right. Let's say, for example, you are you know running the script, running the script, or any any other script in your project, any other script in your project with let's say some hundred users or two hundred users. So, if your JMeter hanged before, right after increasing the heap size, you should not uh, you know uh, see that uh, uh, JMeter hanging issues or out of memory issues anymore. Right, and uh, and uh, re please remember that you know you should not increase this drastically to to four GB or eight GB or something. So you. Uh, you know, you need, we need to use this setting diligently and as per the requirement. All right, yes. So let me show you one more time. Yes, here it is. So you can see here that, you know, the min max heap size of JMeter was increased to 2 GB now. And this will be resolving most of your, all of your, you know, out of memory issues are JMeter freezing issues. Okay, guys, uh, that's all for today. And uh, thanks for watching the session till now and have a nice day. And please save my WhatsApp number, guys. And uh, please save my WhatsApp number. And uh, if you have any training requirement or if you know, you know, any friends or relatives who are looking for training and placement in performance testing with Loadrunner and JMeter and, you know, AWS Kubernetes, Dynatrix, all these uh, courses, like, please, you know, uh, refer them to my live training. We are having both online and offline training. Offline training in uh, the venue for offline training is Hyderabad. Thanks for watching the session. Have a nice day. One more important thing, guys. Like if you already took some training somewhere else, uh, and you are if you are unable to back enter on your own, and we are uh, running an exclusive training for on real time applications on weekends. So do ping me on WhatsApp for the training details. So we'll be providing, you know, like a hundred percent placement, like those for those who join that uh, training on the real time projects. And this would be in Hyderabad, and it will be only classroom training. This for any permission. For now, it is only classroom training in Hyderabad.